USC, Compton, Watts, Bay to LA. From on to California, from valley to valley, we represent that killer county. So if you keeping it real on your side of your town, you tune in to Gangsta Chronicles. Gangsta Chronicles, we gon' tell you how it goes. Uh, if I lie, my nose will grow like Pinocchio. We gon' tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. Gangsta Chronicles, this is not your average show. You're now tuned in to the real MCA Big James and Big Stairs. This is strictly from the streets. Hello. Yeah. So how many shops you got now? I have three shops. Three shops? Yes. Three shops, man. Um, I want to talk about your um, excellent product here. Yes, indeed. Okay. What's this? Because, you know, for all those out there, not, not, not in TV <laughs> land that can't see me. Um, <laughs> He said over your eyes a motherfucker. I thought I, you know, I, I thought I smoked the best weed I, in my life the week before. What have I been telling you? This right here. What have I been telling this you? This right here. And I'm going to tell you the thing I like about it. I'm nice and high, but I don't feel out of control. Like, I'm exactly. still, you know what I'm saying? I, That's calm, what I'm you cool, get when you, you get, get quality weed. Mm-hmm. You get me? When and you it's, you know, quality. it's excellent for, for the back pain. Some yes, kids at home, I'm doing this because my back is bad. Right. That's my cataracts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you got no cataracts. He's an experimenter. So, yeah, you know, this is just an everything. You know, this is for test research purposes. I had to research it to, you know, validate everything. So, Something that's unique about your situation, I notice your retail, you have your own line, and you do distribution too, if I'm correct, correct? Cultivation, cultivation and cultivation. manufacturing. Um, it took a lot to go, you know, you don't, that's like, that's a lot of agriculture involved yeah, and all exactly. kinds of others. You, you know, gotta know your of, shit. Yeah, you gotta know your yeah. shit. Yeah. This is just not like a, um, the logistics to go into something like this is just. You know, you put this together despite being knocked down for six years. Right. It's just real inspiring. Yes. Um, w- w- one thing they could do is they could take away your freedom, but they can't take away your mind. Mm-hmm. And so what I made sure is that my mind stayed sharp while I was in prison. I still uh, did study and I still stayed abreast on what the industry was doing. I made sure I had advocates send me a lot of information to keep me up to date on what was going on in the cannabis industry. So I never fell off of my craft and what I do. And mentally, I knew what I was coming home to do. Right. You see what I'm saying? And so you got to keep you, you take advantage of every opportunity to sharpen your skills and your tools. Well, for me, it was to think it was to sit back and plan what my next move is once I'm released. Always said, all they got to do is open that door and I'll show you what I can do. Mm. You know, the thing is, is is I'm good at what I do. You know, um, I don't know anybody that that move as much weed and covered as much territory in the areas that I've been in. Like, I was in the roughest areas and look at me. I ain't no Billy Badass. And you know what I'm saying? On some low key shit, too. Exactly. Yeah. On some low key shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And so, like, I, and, and, you know, when I talk about the neighborhoods that I moved through, like, LA cats that I was dealing with, I'm like, hey, man, well, you know, uh, hey, man, I need to grab some stuff. So I'll be at the liquor store, come to the store. Man, we ain't coming to Compton over there. L.A. Cats would not want to come no, over there to Compton. Not, to the store, not on 124th from no Wilmington. Way. They didn't want no places. parts of it, right? I used to tell them, I said, man, you good. Just tell them you coming to see exactly. me. And they like, you sure? I said, yeah, man, just tell them you coming to see me and you good. And, you know, people would hit them up in the parking lot. I'm coming to see Bird. I'm, you know, and... They was good. Now, where can people find this? Um, you said you got six locations? At three, three, three locations. Three locations. Where are those located at? So I have one on 74th and Crenshaw, 7415 Crenshaw Boulevard. And then I have one, uh, 1601 South Soto Street in Boyle Heights. Uh, the old Sears building, I'm right next to the old Sears building uh, off of Soto and Olympic. And then I have one uh, off of Melrose uh, 654 North Manhattan Place, uh, just right off of Melrose and Western. Uh, 
we got to create a Gangster Chronicles discount code so if they come in there, yes, sir. Yeah. GC, absolutely. they get you know five percent right. off or something. Yeah, like that. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And so, you know, back to talking about your brands, these are all cultivated by you. Yes, sir. That you have right there, and this one right here I have is a hybrid. That's a hybrid, and then the strain is on the back. How many different, uh, do you have your own pens and vapes and everything too? I have my own pens, so I, I, I cultivate, so I grow the flower. I manufacture, which means I extract my own oil, mm -hmm. which means I have vape pens, I have edibles, um, anything on a concentrated level. I have uh, shatter, wax, crumble, sauce. This is all the stuff that all the uh, dabbers and the dab right. heads and the concentrate consumers uh, understand. Uh, and then I also have my apparel, which is California cannabis apparel. I'm a complete brand. Mm -hmm. I'm one that does everything from top to bottom. Um, and I created that is because I wanted to make this a desirable brand. I wanted this mm -hmm. brand to be for everybody. I wanted to be for the soccer mom. I wanted to be for the hippie, the beach bum, uh, the gangster in, 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 from the city I'm from, which they had it way before everybody else did. Because California cannabis, I've been providing that long before the name. Exactly. You, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. So, um, you know, in the city. So you can't you can't name uh, and, 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 and my man ain't no. You can't name a rapper in Compton. ain't come buy weed from me. Exactly. Coolio, uh, 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 DJ Quick. Um, uh, and he really didn't even smoke weed. He was more of a drinker. I had uh, 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 Easy E, B, uh, Dre, uh, uh, Dreister, and BG Knock. They was all coming to Dre, all of them, uh, uh, back in the NWA days. And then even I was, I was going up to death row. Man, you're serving, an undercover legend, bro. You're serving yeah, you, I was serving real. death row. Snoop, like you know, on. Snoop's first purple kush came from me. You know what I'm saying? So that's when he first signed with death row. Um, and you know, I was coming through there all the time. Can Am Studios. I was mm -hmm. dipping through the end, dipping right back out. You know mm -hmm. what I'm yes, saying? Indeed. You know, that's I, I would just creep in and creep out because I was there. I wasn't one of those that you would see hanging out. That wasn't my thing. Right. I, because at my pager, oh, it was blowing up every time. I had too many people that wanted to see me, so I would come handle my business, and then I'm out. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, always, I don't need to meet nobody. No, I don't need to see you. I don't need to know who you are. Thank you. Have a good day. I'm gone. It was it was just that mm -hmm. with me when it came to that. And I didn't been to shit damn near every studio in uh, Southern California. Larrabee North, Larrabee South, Echo Sounds. You name a studio, I can promise you I didn't been there and dropped off weed to some artists. Right. Yeah. You know what, the, and the big misconception, I think that it's just hood people coming in and degenerates coming in buying marijuana. How wide is the range of people it is that you service? Um, to be honest with you, I have more middle-aged and, and elderly that are, are in my patient base mm -hmm. uh, and in my customer base more than anything. We talking 35 and up is m my larger uh, consumer population. Youngsters are not as, uh, uh, they're not as, as big as consumers, at least not in this legal space, mm -hmm. than the uh, elderly and the middle aged. People our age, people 30, people uh, uh, late 20s, mid 20s. Those are the people I see. As far as anybody like 21, I rarely get, you know, young, young, young people coming through like that. Yeah. Mm. See, weed is just an everybody thing. Exactly. It is. It, it is. is. Everybody and it's thing. become that, too. Because, mm -hmm. you know, like me, I didn't, I didn't start probably trying to experiment with weed a little bit until this past year because of the knee and back pain. And my partner, QT, down in Texas, he'd been smoking all, all in well, college and everything. I've been smoking everything. since I was 13 years old. And he should tell me. Still here, you know your your old ass, your back won't be hurt as much. You need to just go and smoke some weed instead of trying all her bullshit. Man, no. I started fucking with the um, CBD flower. One okay. of my partners said the CBD flower. It really is. It got a lot of oh, medical absolutely. properties. Well, CBD has your uh, medicinal properties. Uh, so does uh, the THC. Uh, because people think that CBD is just CBD by itself. No, it's CBD with THC. Mm -hmm. That has small traces and small levels of CBD, I mean of THC within the CBD. 
and it wouldn't be active. It can't activate. In other words, those properties, healing properties, cannot activate without THC. This is what people don't understand. CBG, CBN, CBD, uh, and THC, and all of the components um, to that molecular structure of the THC plant all have to work in unison, all have to work together. It's like me taking both arms and legs off of you and then say, go function. That's not going to happen, right? And so you can't extract and pull one thing out and think that it's going to work in its entirety. God made that plant to work in unison the way it is in its perfect form. Uh, so there's a misconception that when people say, oh, this is straight CBD, no THC. No, it's there is a small trace you always know of it's THC. Just a little small trace of exactly. Yeah. It may not be detectable if you take a test or whatnot that will come out in a, a field drug test or what or whatnot. Uh, but just know it is there. Uh, there are small traces, and it have to be there for the plant to activate. It works. Oh, it definitely does. <laughs> <laughs>